Hi, I'm John Club from Alberta Soccer Association and the Grassroots Development. I'm here with students today from Mother Teresa. And we're going to do a, a drill called Four Houses. So if you can go home, guys. This is a great drill for working on running and ball technique and skills. So listen, boys, girls, you're in four houses in the corner. The balls are in the middle. One person at a time is going to run in, get a ball and take it home. Only one person, one runner, until the next first person comes home. Are you ready? Go. So off you go. Pick the ball up. Just run the ball home. Try and make sure those balls stay in the circle. That's it, Zane. Pick that one up. Quickly, run, 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 two balls left. Oh, you missed it. Run out quick. And put the ball down. Good. So, three balls each on these two teams. You got them quickest, so you're the winning team. Now, watch it. What we're going to do now, the next progression is you've got to bring those balls back, but you must dribble them, okay? So, I want to see nice dribbling, and the ball must be stopped in the middle. Are you ready? One person at a time. Go. Into the middle, make sure the ball is still before you leave. Run it out, still, and then out, good. Yeah. Keep coming, inside, and that's it, keep it in there and rest. So, who was the first team back this time? It should have been one of the teams with two balls, okay? So this time, the last progression, you're going to come in and do that trick, the ball taps before you go home. Ten ball taps. Are you ready? Go. One player at a time. Count out loud, guys. Just want to check you can count. Then dribble it out. No hands. Well, no hands. Dribble it out. Two balls left. Count those loud. And take it home. Fantastic. Right, then come in to me, everybody. Come in quickly. So four houses is a, is a great fun game. It brings in the competitive element. Um, in terms of the skills and techniques, you can add in any techniques you want. You can make the players uh, juggle the ball. I always start with the running in order to make sure the players understand the organization. And then you add in any skills you want. Left foot, right foot, juggling, as I say. Um, just something to challenge the players. Thank you, guys.